Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for this Facebook Live. Lisa, Lydia, Scott here, getting ready for another awesome day. We'll get the forecast from Lydia in a second. I wanna remind you, of course, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. Uh, you can find it anytime on your feed throughout the day. It stays there for at least a month or two. Yeah. If you wanna go back and look at old newscasts, <laughs> you can. Uh, we make this into a podcast as well. You can go to inforum.com slash podcast and look for the Inforum Minute uh, live on air on WDAY. We also have an Inform YouTube channel. So. Wherever you get your news, I bet we're there as well. Right. And you want to get this forecast because yeah. it's just going to be gorgeous yeah. today. Lovely day today. Already started off pretty with a gorgeous sunrise. Mm -hmm. Our tower cams are showing off. We're getting pictures into the weather email. If you took a picture of the sunrise this morning, feel free to share it with us because it was full of pinks and yellows and pretty colors. That's a start to the pretty day that is on tap for today. Temps near 50 this afternoon. 53 is what we're forecasting in Fargo, wow. which is our record high. 53 okay. is the record high today from 1918. 49 is the forecast for Grand Forks, and your records are 46, 47 at the airport and National Weather Service. So it's possible today. Yeah. We could easily break some records this afternoon. Alrighty. Otherwise, mostly sunny wind out of the southeast at 5 to 15. Clouds thicken up late tonight watching for some snow to move in tomorrow. Model runs keep slowing this thing down. I think it really largely pushes in through Friday afternoon, Friday evening now. Earlier this week, it looked like a Thursday night into Friday morning. Now it's like Friday, Friday night, even lingering into Saturday morning for some of us. Okay. Not a ton of snow, one to three inches up north, about a trace to one inch here in Fargo, but a lot of wind with it. So anywhere that you get the snow coming down and then meeting that wind, that's where you have reduced visibility sure. and some travel impacts. So I do expect travel impacts for tomorrow once that snow pushes in. Uh, colder air coming with it, temps will fall tomorrow. You'll see 40 on our 10 day forecast. That's a little deceiving. I think that happens closer to about midnight or early in the morning and then temps go backwards for the rest of the day. Uh, then that's all out of here. We're still breezy on Saturday. Might notice at least a little bit of that loose snow kind of skirting across the road. Temps will be in the 30s, upper 20s through the course of the weekend. Warm up is on tap again for next week. That's crazy. So, yeah, something to look forward to. If you wanna see how toasty and when, you can check out our Sunday <coughs> forecast on our Storm Tracker app or of course on inform.com. And even though it's not a lot of snow, I want to talk about this because yeah. we haven't had any snow. So just a little bit's going to be, you know, yeah. hard on drivers. Yes. We have only picked up 2.8 inches of snow so far this year and it's December 7th now. So it's wild, the lack <laughs> of snow that we have had. We haven't even been below zero here in Fargo. So it has not been very December-like. Uh, that snow will push in. It, again, it's not a lot of snow, but it can gliss, glisten up and kind of yeah. gloss up the roads. I think even a half inch makes things a little bit slippery. Right. And the wind will be howling at about 40 to maybe even 50 miles an hour. So that'll make it hard to see, especially out of town. If you're doing any town to town traveling, if you're headed out of town for your Friday evening, we're going to need to watch out for some of this. So yeah, I know a lot of people are, are looking forward to snow. They want yeah. to not only businesses, yeah. which we were talking, yes. I know yep. uh, we had stories on WDAY last night about, you know, people, snow removal companies, yeah. they want the snow, but it's their business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my kids just want snow too. They're hoping for a snow day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <the school. laughs> that, that too. Yeah. Um, it's not a shutter downer. That's what I like to describe it as. It's not a huge snowstorm. Nothing is going to close because of this, but I just want you to be prepared if you do have plans to be out on the roads for tomorrow. Good reminders. Yeah. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. All right. Well, a uh, big story we're tracking for you this morning. Uh, we broke this for you. Uh, we can now confirm the man involved in a crash that killed a Mercer County Sheriff's deputy is the son of North Dakota U.S. Senator Kevin Kramer. Uh, the North Dakota Highway Patrol says 42-year-old Ian Kramer was involved in a police chase in Hazen in a stolen vehicle when he crashed into a patrol car. Now, the car was empty, but the car was then shoved up against a deputy who was outside of the vehicle. That deputy was killed. Uh, the deputy not identified yet, uh, but we have learned that he was outside of the squad car setting up uh, a tire deflation device when he was hit. Uh, Ian Kramer was taken to a medical center before then being booked in jail. Uh, charges are still pending. Of course, we're tracking that very closely for you right now. Yeah, then overnight, his father, Senator Kevin Kramer, uh, released a statement about his son saying, quote, that Ian suffers from serious mental disorders. Uh, we'll have more on that statement throughout the day, more coverage on the story. We actually have a team on our way right now to Mercer County. Matt Hansen's gonna be mm -hmm. out there doing coverage of this story throughout the day. Um, he'll have a report at 11 o'clock this morning on our newscast. So uh, stick with us both on air and online as we'll be covering the story as we get more details. Absolutely. Uh, today, a heads up, the Red River Valley SWAT team is going to be doing some training 
Uh, of course, they want to give you the heads up because it can be kind of scary if you see them and you don't know it's training. They're carrying guns. Uh, it's very loud, a lot of yelling and noises. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be happening at the Northview Church, which is on 25th Street, so pretty busy uh, area, from 4 until 9 today. All right, big breaking news story nationally this morning. Uh, the shooter has been identified in the deadly University of Nevada, Las Vegas shooting. Three people were killed, including two university detectives. The suspect is 67-year-old Anthony Polito. Uh, he was pronounced dead at the scene. He was a career college professor. Um, overnight, we got an update. One of the victims uh, in this shooting, their condition has been upgraded to stable. So uh, lots of questions about what exactly happened with this uh, shooting, this tragedy. Uh, those details will continue to come out, and we'll get those to you when they're available. Hot Mike with Dom Izzo coming up here, 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra. Uh, lots of newsy sports headlines mm -hmm. uh, this week. Several of NDSU's players have been targeted in the transfer portal for big money yeah. to leave. We talked about that on First News. Uh, the man running the Bison Collective will be joining Dom to talk about the changing world of name, image, and likeness. And we've been talking about this a lot on and off air this morning. I think it's a huge story. Um, you know Dom's going to talk about the fact that Former Bison coaching great Craig Bull uh, announced he's retiring. Uh, he was out in Wyoming. A new coach has already been named. If you follow Dom on Twitter, which you should because he's on top of this, you have most of this information. But um, online on inform.com, Jeff Kolpak has a really great uh, article kind of looking back. Headline, former Bison coaching great Craig Bull retires. Check that out on inform.com. And join Dom from 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra. And don't forget, for 99 cents a month for your first three months, you can get an all-access pass to inform.com. Just go to inform.com slash subscribe to get that deal. All right. Uh, we are back at 11 o'clock. Like you said, uh, WDAY news reporter Matt Henson uh, will have reports, the very latest, on the deadly crash involving Senator Kramer's son. And we'll have you covered this afternoon as uh, we're going to have team coverage. Four, five, six, nine, and 10. Uh, we'll see you then on WDAY news. All right. Have a good day, folks. Bye-bye.